Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is going to be a really fun video where I'll be creating a project using the Fortnite API. It will be really really fun to work with. So let me actually open up the uh, what do you say Fortnite API. So just search for Fortnite API and as you can see over here it's a really well documented api i have actually looked into this api and i really liked it so as you can see over here the dashboard the best thing with this api is you don't need to authorize get yourself an api key because if you can see over here the br map and stuff you don't need the api key so today we will be taking the fortnite api and we will be getting all of the coordinates of any place on the map using the br map of part of the fortnite api so as you can see, this is the data that we are playing with today. Let's just get started. So first of all, we will import requests. Next, we will need to specify the API URL. So specify the API URL. So URL is equals to, and I'll just specify it over here. And I will get it get the url so response is equal to request dot get url and i know that oops and i know that uh, this will return a status code of 200 so i'm just going to be returning response dot text for now so now i will just head on to my terminal run python 3 test dot py and there we go it is working and we have all of this data that we want to uh, use obviously the status code is 200 and we want to grab the pois and inside the pois obviously all of the images so all right so first of all let's change this into a json response so we can use that to actually parse it so json response is equal to response dot json and now let's actually ask for uh, now actually let's just uh, get the POIs so for I and I'm sorry first I need to get the POIs uh, in JSON response it basically this will be equal to the JSON response and in the JSON response that will be equal to the what was it equal to let me just go up in the json response it will be equal to the uh, data and in the data it will be equal to the uh, okay what will that be equal to so it's images POIs. all right it will be equal to pois i'm pretty sure and i'll just print out the length of poi in res so let's just run that again all right looks like we don't have any error that's pretty cool and we have the length that's awesome so now what i will do is i will loop over the py so for i in range uh, length of pois in json rest and now what we want to do is now that we have the what do you say length of the pois now we want to grab each poi so it's actually more than simple since we already have grabbed the length we simply just need to get the name so let me show you so i just have one thing called poi underscore name underscore n res okay why is my sublime text not responding okay what is happening one second let me actually have a look uh four squared Okay, my sublime text was not responding for some reason. Alright, let me just open it up again. Alright, there we go. So, now that we are getting that, uh, so let's actually get the name. So, POI underscore name in res is equal to basically this thing because we now we don't need to get the json response since we already have the pois in our hand and now what we can basically do is 
you want to grab the name so in that we can just pass in an i and grab the name and we can print our poi name and response rest for short obviously and now let me just run this file again and seems like there is no error so seems like this would be working there we go it is working properly and as of now i play a lot of fortnite like not recently but i used to play i even have it right now so as of now i know that it's like uh, we have these pios and stuff so this data that we will be returning will be authentic to the season so if there will be some hidden poi that you won't know about it will be shown in this api so in case if you don't know some place and so you will be able to get its coordinates and probably even go over there so let me actually show you so like as you can see over here it says zero point now in case if you won't know what this where the zero point is you will just simply be able to get the coordinates and go to that place which is pretty simple all right so now it's actually time to for the user to input the poi so let's actually do that so poi is equals to input enter poi name and now we will just say that if poi dot upper now the why am i passing upper but if you will see uh, let me actually show it to you uh, some of these things are like in this uppercase which you can't expect the user to know come on you can't expect the user to know such thing and then we'll also just say dot strip so what we will do is we'll get rid of all of the white spaces like the spaces so in case of the user has some uh, unintentional spaces it will still get the poi is equal to the poi name and rest dot upper dot strip then we will just print out it is otherwise pass all right let's see what happens when we run this program and just for now i'm just gonna comment this out so it's a little neat and not this ugly so now let me just run this and we know it's a zero point all right none type has no object upper poi dot upper okay why is this the case hmm all right let me actually have a look at some of the other code that i've written and i'm just gonna copy paste that stuff so python and let me go up it up python full story low it's down i think it was in my covid tracker so let me open up my test.py over here no it's not over here um okay let's see over here let's just look how to convert a string to uppercase in python the dot upper okay that is literally what i've done over here dot upper let's see over here okay i think i'll need to encapsulate it in the string thing and encapsulate this also in the string thing i think this should now work zero point okay none type object has no attribute upper all right i think i'm just gonna get rid of the upper thing it's okay if that's the case then the guy can just improve his spellings it's okay <laughs> whatever so let's just do it in this way i thought i could go fancy and nothing would happen but apparently let's just go mount k mount Okay. and there we go let's see and there we go we get it is and all right and for now i'm just gonna get rid of this thing we don't need that clear the terminal screen run the python script again mount k 
and we get it is popping up now i think some of the pois in here are kind of repeated so let me try it out so name called carson let me try it out again now i think this could work now let's try it out now mount k okay yeah this won't so now let's try it out over here dot upper and let's also just say that this will be a string mount Okay. okay it's working now i don't know what the error was before but it's working all right so let's have this thing called coral castle we all know what coral castle is i think whatever so let's actually run the script again coral castle and we get it is and just to be a little bit safe uh, once it prints out it is we will just break out of the loop so now instead of printing out it is, we want to grab the x and y coordinates. So I'll just have one thing called POI x underscore chord is equals to basically this. Just we will change one thing in it. So just have that. And I'll just head on to Google Chrome. And we will have the location. So we will grab the location over here. So over here we will have the location. And in there I'll just grab the x coordinate. And instead of this, I'll just say uh, POI, POI, X chord, and Coral Castle, Castle, and there we go, we get the X coordinate. And now let's do the same thing for the Y coordinate. POI underscore Y underscore chord is equals to this same thing put in a Y is there a Z chord in it also I think there will be obviously yeah there you go I, I was pretty sure so now you just do the same thing for the Z chord in it and so why this will just be Z and I will just go over here, paste, paste. Actually, you know what? F string. And I will just say x coordinate is um, this, comma, y coordinate is poi. Oops. and z coordinate is the poi z chord so you just simply grab that and i will simply paste it over here and let's just go over and try this out All right, let's try this out. Enter Coral Castle. X coordinate is this. Y coordinate is this, and Z coordinate is that. Awesome. All right. So now that we have done that, let's actually try and implement this in a website. So let's actually try it out. So clear the screen. Touch main dot pi make their templates cd to templates touch index.html cd dot dot and clear the screen so we quickly created a folder with index.html and main.py and let's just get started now i won't be explaining you flask for this i have already created so many tutorials on flask so i don't think i'll be doing that I will just import all of my libraries now create the app create the app there will just be app is equals to flask uh, underscore underscore name underscore underscore 
and I'll run the app if underscore underscore name underscore underscore if this is the case hmm get rid of these things if this is the case then we just want to go app dot run debug equals true now what we will do is create the main page so i will just have one thing called define main return render template index dot html and i will just have it at app dot route slash and now let's just write down some code for the index.html file so again i will not be going all out on the front end you can do whatever you want for the front end i won't be doing anything crazy i literally i don't even think i'll keep a title i'll just have it as fortnite map and i will have a body tag I won't even care of changing the font I'm like just doing making the website to actually make the thing look good instead of just a console application but I really don't care of making a website so that's that so Fortnite map and now let's actually do some of the more important stuff for this which will have a form with a method of post and we will just do that and inside the form will be a input field with a placeholder enter poi name oh, oops i'm making all of this in caps enter poi name and the name will be poi name and i'm just gonna close this with a self-closing tag next let's add a few brs and add a p tag and let's have in your case the x underscore chord and now let's just implement all of this stuff through some code i'm pretty confident about this stuff that it it will work so i'm very very just i'm going really fast but you can try out if you want so if we are sending a post request so if the request dot method equals to post so if that is the case i will say web page is equal to request dot form then we will say the poi will be equal to the string of the web page and inside of that we will simply be grabbing the poi name inp and now what i will do is i don't do my test.py file and simply take all of this code put it over here indent it all we simply indent it and do that and also go over here i'm sorry i just i don't do my main.py file and import requests oops requests okay so now all we need to do is go over here and define the x coordinate on the top over here so global vars variables so it equals to a blank string and I'll simply call it as a global over here and I will have it over here make a equal to make a comma do that and onto index.html x chord and just do that all right so let's just run the script python 3 main.py and 
let's see if this works. So let's enter the POI name. Let's enter uh, Coral Castle. And there we go, it's working. You can enter whatever you want. Uh, you can have something like Lazy Lake. And there we go, it's working. So now I'm just gonna add on to Sublime Text and do the same thing for the Y and the Z chord. I don't think I will even test it at this point because I know it's working. So I will just grab that Y chord and Z chord, add a BR and just make this Y chord, make this Z chord and I'll simply what I'll also do is make the multi line cursor and I'll simply copy these head on top, paste them. I will also make the multi line cursor once again and I will also use it again copy that paste it and there we go and now all I need to do is copy that paste it make it Y coordinate get this over here make a da comma copy this make this z coordinate copy that paste that and i think this will already be working and i as you can see this is working properly you can do whatever you want the ui is looking very very bad i know and just for the sake of it, I will also add the image in case if you want. So I'm just going to add the image. So you guys can also get the images. So where is the image? Let's actually uh, get that. So uh, we have the ID, the name, the location. Okay, we got the location. Then we have the... Okay, once we have the location, what else do we have? Do we have anything for the image? Let's see. So name carry corner location is that uh, craggy cliffs location that uh, okay looks like there is nothing for the um what do you say image so whatever so that basically means that's enough for this video i hope that you enjoyed this video we did a really really quick project and as you can see it's a pretty short no no it's not a short video i would say it's kind of long but still whatever so i hope that you enjoyed this video we wrote a, a little bit of code actually like this isn't some really less code we quickly speed coded this entire thing so yeah whatever so that's it for today guys i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did like and subscribe to the channel comment down below which projects i should make with python and i'll surely take them into account try if i can you know i'm not some god programmer so i can't guarantee you but I will try my best to make a tutorial on them. So that's it for today guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in another YouTube video.